In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can fit the letter builder inside any grid. So here we have the bridge grid. Put the letter builder inside of the grid, then you're gonna scale it up all the way to the size that you want it to be. And then in the transform function, use the warp tool and transform using those blue anchor dots, making sure that all the letters are spaced correctly and making sure that the middle line is also at the center of the grid. Now let's take a different grid. The reason why this one is harder is because it has a pointy tip. One way to do it because it's symmetrical is to erase one half of the design. So again, advanced mesh, make sure to hit all the corners, duplicate this layer, flip horizontally, connect it back here. No matter what shape or form it is, that's a great and easy way to do. You have the arc, and now you wanna place the letter builder inside. Let's say we wanna place six letters, so three on each side. So I'm going to place this one in here. I wanna get it into the shape. So advanced mesh, again, using the warp tool, place it, duplicate it, and then start to rotate. And then do that again, placing it at the same distance. Select all of these, bring them down onto one side. Now that we have one side, the same way we did it before, we're just gonna flip it around. So drag these all together, place them into one shape, and then duplicate those, flip horizontally, and there you go, you've placed the letter builder inside of an arc. So here you have it. You can fit the letter builder into any of the 35 grids we have available in the grid bundle. Even though it might take a little bit of time to get it right into the shape, it will help you to speed up the process to get those letters more consistent and more precise over time. So I hope that you have learned something new. In the next video, we're going to look at how to space letters more evenly using the grid builder and to make sure that your kerning is spot on. See you in the next one.